Hello everybody, here I'm just teaching you some more things in the PHP. So let's just open the notepad plus plus. So right now as I said that uh, I'm just going to teach you in this class that uh, how to get the associative arrays as well. We just know that how to get these kind of arrays, uh, the indexed arrays, but right now I'm just teaching you how to get the associative arrays. So let's just create another for each statement. But before that I'm just creating the BRs multiple BRs to get multiple line breaks in here. This is a very wrong thing. It should be in this way and save it and go to the browser. Refresh this now. Nothing has changed. It's because we didn't do anything after this echo, the BRs echo. So here I'm just calling the for each again. And what I'm just going to do here actually first of all just think that whichever the error you want to show there. So I'm just using this this array, the tasks, okay? Or we can choose the A days array. By the way, I'm just choosing the tasks there. So first of all, here I'm just calling the tasks. The, the I'm just clearing that I want to choose the array which named tasks. That means this array, okay? Then, as I want to get the tasks array as now key or oh, not sorry, not key key is a reserved word actually dollar key. This is the word uh, this is the actually variable now key and then is equals to and less than sign key and then the task okay the task and the key of task this is a task they are multiple tasks okay this is plural and this is singular this is a task and this is a key of this task and this is the key sec of this task this is a key of this task okay now task as key and task so this is more easy really simple now just echo it and then if I just type dollar key then what will happen I'm just going to the browser to check this refresh this now multiple keys but the problem is that I didn't use the concatenation sign for concatenating the BR so I'm just concatenating this and just refresh this now First, sec thr frt and x. What are they? Actually, only the keys. Okay, and I just want to get the data which is after this sign. So here, I'm just removing this and just simply concatenating. And here, I'm just putting this sign. Okay, this is a string, not any operator. Okay, I'm just getting the. I'm just putting the sign as the string. Really simple. Now, again, just put an, another. Uh, concatenation sign and press dollar sign and type task okay so now when I just put task then I will get all the tasks the first second third and fourth and the ten okay when I just type key I'll get all the keys so I'm just uh, I'm just getting both of them I'm just trying to print both of them the key and the task but here between them I'm just putting simple sign in a string okay this is not a command let's just go to the browser and refresh this and now in this way I just get first oh uh, actually this is missing so here I'm just putting another thing another concatenation sign in BR now after every task key and task there is any B uh, there is a line break FST is equals to first and the second is the key of second THR is the key of third FRT is the um, uh, key of fourth and X e is actually 10 so I hope you understood how to get associative arrays and there is something more in the for each I'll teach you in next class so stay tuned we'll meet again goodbye